again, Blarney Brooks. Wow. It's so lovely to be here. It's amazing to be back here. This is, uh, this is our second time here. And uh, my name is Grace Petrie. Give me a shout if, if you've seen me before. <laughs> amazing. That's a lot more than last time, I'll tell you. <laughs> Give me a shout if it's your first time. Oh, cool. Um, well, uh, we've come all the way over here from the UK, and it's wonderful to be joined by Mr. Ben Moss. Good afternoon. A pleasure to be back. We were here uh, three years ago in 2020, and we fell in love with Port Ferry. We fell in love with this town, fell in love with this festival, fell in love with this bookshop. And... Uh, we had an amazing time. We, give us a shout if you're at that one in 2020. Yeah. And uh, it was our first time in Australia, me and Ben, and uh, we were just on top of the world. You know, we just couldn't couldn't believe how good a response. You know, everyone was so friendly and generous to us, and um, we were having an amazing time. And and. Uh, we, we, were, we were cheersing our beers together after one of our gigs, and I said to Ben, oh, it just doesn't get any better than this, does it? And then, uh, as Ben often says, then it didn't. Because <laughs> within a week, this little thing called coronavirus had hit in a big way. And so we flew home, and we uh, flew pretty much straight into lockdown. And... Uh, Ben got uh, trapped in my house for six months. It's a true story. <laughs> so we've really been th we've been through a lot together yeah. since our last trip to Port Ferry. Mm. Um, some of which I think is conveyed in this song. So when I was sitting around the house with uh, <laughs> with Benji, I uh, I wrote a record, and uh, this is a song from that album, and it is. About the pandemic, but it's also about the uh, the promise of better days ahead, I suppose. And it feels uh, lovely to have made it all the way back here and feel like we've come out the other side and get it to play in front of you guys. It's called Storm to Weather, and it goes this. Batten down the hatches, love, the night is rolling in The clouds are getting darker and you're scared of what they bring And you are searching the horizon for some sign, some little spark Of morning that will chase away the dark Heavy was the winter, love, and what's become of spring? This demon came and got its claws in every little thing Now there are miles and glass and distance that are keeping me apart From the beating of your strong and steady heart And if it sinks, my darling, then Just close your eyes and think of when When you'll be in my arms again there's a storm here to weather The thunder's coming near Louder than ever And we don't know where to steer And though we can't be together No matter what, my dear I will love you forever And we will dance again next year I will love you forever And we will dance again next year This world is unfamiliar now, it's turned us all around A sailboat in a hurricane and nothing's bolted down And whichever way you turn there is no sanctuary in sight No path to some safe harbour in the night But I am sailing right beside you, I am just out of arm's length 
Willing you remember You are wrought of iron strength And I am hanging my tomorrows On the bones of yesterday All I can do to make it through today And when my heart sinks My darling then Will I fill my lungs And I think of when When you'll be in my arms again There's a storm here to weather The thunder's coming near Louder than ever And we don't know where to steer And though we can't be together No matter what, my dear I will love you forever And we will dance again next year I will love you forever And we will dance again next year So best foot first And hold on fast And to your worst This too will pass And when it does I'll be there To fill your glass Now listen I know it's early And I know we're in a bookshop But this has got a bit of a sing-along chorus now How do you feel about that? Yeah, and I want you to turn this bookshop into Madison Square Garden and turn this five past 12 into 11 p.m. Are you with me? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna sing a line and then I'm gonna point at you and you're gonna echo that line after me. It just goes like this. There's a storm here to weather. 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 You nailed it, guys. There's a storm here to weather. The thunder's coming near. Louder than ever And we don't know where to steer Though we can't be together No matter what, my dear I will love you forever And we will dance again next year I will love you forever And we will dance again next year I will love you forever And we will dance again next year I will love you forever and we will dance again next year. Thank you. Is Dean around anywhere? Can I just, ah, can I grab a, a little more of my vocal, please, in the monitor? Thank you very much. That's great, cheese. Um, so yeah, so uh, for those of you who haven't seen me before, or seen us before, um, I'm a I'm a protest singer. Um, that's what I do. Just one person who is into that, but <laughs> that's all right. Uh, <laughs> they don't call it the struggle for nothing. Um, uh, yeah, I'm a I'm a socialist, feminist, lesbian, left wing protest singer. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. And uh, and I've been doing that. Um, for 13 years now, gosh, I started doing that in uh, in 2010 when the Conservatives got into power in in the UK, and I started writing protest songs um, with the you know explicit aim of trying to make Britain a more left wing place. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I think we can all agree my work is done. Uh, <laughs> No, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, if anything, I, I've, I've, I think I've made things quite a lot worse. Um, in the years that I've been active, things just keep going from bad to worse, don't they? But uh, since I was last in Australia, though, of course, we have, we've all had a change of monarch, haven't we? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm, uh, strangely, I'm no more of a monarchist than I was before. Tried it with a man, but it didn't work. Uh, <laughs> any better? Yeah, goodness me, it's uh, 
What a strange old time. It's it's <laughs> it's a strange thing um, to be to be British. It's a strange time to be British. I've ne it's never been something I've been particularly proud of. <laughs> but uh, recently, goodness me, there's there's a sort of terrible strain of really nasty nationalism which is really kind of on the rise in Britain and uh, it just feels like you know all throughout history it's the same thing isn't it it's sort of you know uh, the people you know who sort of have so little in the world are demonized for the crimes of the people who have everything at the top you know, and there's just this sort of t tiny minority of people in Britain who have so much wealth and so much power concentrated among them. And they just do such a fantastic job of uh, blaming, you know, Im immigrants and, well, and refugees and minorities uh, and anybody who has so much less power than them for, for the terrible things that they're doing in society. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, yeah, I've never been a monarchist... Um, but I, d I think more, more so than ever, I think it, when we have such sort of rife and worsening inequality, I think it's, um, I think it's grotesque, honestly, to be coronating a new monarch in the year 2023 and expecting people to uh, come out and celebrate this terrible demonstration of the inequality of the times that we live in. So, um, uh, thanks. So anyway, I wrote this song, I wrote this about Lizzie, actually. Um, but uh, it works just as well for Charles. Um, it is, I mean, it does feel markedly worse, I'd say, to have a, to have a king. You know, I mean, I, I'm not saying, you know, she wasn't like a bastion of feminism or anything, but it was sort of vaguely more girl boss vibes, wasn't it? Um, to be the subject of a king something that doesn't sit very well with me. Anyway, this is called God Save the Hungry. And it goes like this. Am I an agitator for not thinking it's cool that some were born to suffer while some were born to rule? Does that make me a traitor? Before you toss that word around Please understand that I love this land of mine And yeah, it's true, God ain't my thing But if he was, I'd rather sing For all of the refugees Perishing in foreign seas Those bodies washed up on the shores We're fleeing our state-sponsored wars And our leader sees nothing wrong So I wrote him a brand new song that goes God save the hungry, God save the poor and God save those desperate souls whose lives were torn apart by a war God save the homeless and those with disabilities And all the other targets of this heartless ideology And there's a long and shameful list of folks we need God to assist But those who sleep in palaces at night they're doing all right And Britain could be greater If it had fairness at its heart Yeah, this nation altogether Is more than the sum of its parts But they will call you a traitor For even daring to believe A sleight of hand From those who bleed this land's right yeah, it's true, God ain't my thing But if he was, I'd rather sing For all of the refugees Perishing in foreign seas Those bodies washed up on the shores We're fleeing our state-sponsored wars And our leader sleeps sound at night Cause he's got all the lyrics right Well, God save the hungry And God save the poor and God save those desperate souls whose lives were torn apart by a war. God save the homeless and those with disabilities. 
And all the other targets of this heartless ideology And there's a long and shameful list of folks we need God to assist those who sleep in palaces at night I think they're doing all right I think they're doing all right So give me a song And that won't stick in my throat If you agree the only power we should respect Is that come from a vote, yeah Give me a song that won't stick in my throat to see our millionaire politicians say We're all in the same boat And yeah, it's true God ain't my thing But if he was, I'd rather sing For all of the refugees Perishing in foreign seas Those bodies washed up on the shores We're fleeing our state-sponsored wars And our leader sees nothing wrong So raise your voice and sing along Yeah, God save the hungry God save the poor God save those desperate souls Whose lives were torn apart by war God save the homeless And those with disabilities all the other targets of this heartless ideology And my gratitude to all the brave soldiers spinning in their grave To see the eaten mess that they made of The sacrifice they gave To tear apart the welfare state And all they ever made for a great While those who sleep in palaces tonight They're still doing alright They're still doing alright Thank you very much. Uh, so we had a we've had a we had a request when we came in. Well, we've had a couple of requests actually. Um, <coughs> so it's <laughs> some of my songs are uh, contain quite bad language, <laughs> um, and you never know, you know, <laughs> when you turn up to a gig at 12 o'clock in a bookshop and then I, I arrived and there were some really angelic looking children sitting in the front row. And, uh, and they came straight up to me and asked for the songs with the worst <laughs> swear words in, so, uh, but we'll get around to, I, and I, 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 I said, in, in reply, I said, we gotta work up to that. I gotta get them on side first. So we're gonna do uh, the other request, first of all. Um, which is a song called This House. Um, gosh, wow. Um, this is amazing for my ego, this gig, I must say. <laughs> Which is good, because I was a real shrinking violet, as Ben can attest. Mm, that's what we need. Yeah. <laughs> Give that ego a bit of a boost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, goodness me. Um, so I wrote this song, uh, gosh, about six years ago now, um, and uh, there's a bit of a story behind it. I was, uh, I was moving house, and uh, I was in the middle of sort of carrying my, my boxes between the van and, and the house, and, and my new next door neighbour arrived home, and uh, at the time that I met him, uh, he was uh, a 79-year-old man, and he was the most interesting and flamboyant 79 year old man I'd ever met and um, and I said to him that I thought his front garden was really beautiful and he said oh you should come in and see the house so I followed him put down my boxes and I followed him into his house and uh, from the minute I followed him into his house he started talking and he didn't stop for an hour um, and uh, and the whole time uh, he was talking he was talking kind of exclusively about the man that he had lived with in this house for years and years. And uh, what happened is they'd both been sort of widowed quite young and then they'd moved in together as housemates. 
And uh, this chap had died sort of 20 years before I, I met my neighbor. And uh, all the way through the house, there were just the signs of a life spent together, you know, and he was sort of describing all the things. He'd been a carpenter, this man, and my neighbor was describing all the things in the house he'd built and the way that he'd sort of remodeled the entire place. And he was going, oh, you know, he built all of this and he built all of this. And, and he was speaking about this man with so much love in his voice. And, uh, and it was so obvious to me that he had been in love with him, you know? And it was equally obvious to me um, that that wasn't something that had ever been spoken about. And, uh, and I know that there are so many stories of, you know, our queer family that sort of came before my generation who lived lives like that. And um, it just made me think about how lucky I am to have been born in the time that I was born and born to the people that I was born to who never asked me or expected me to be anything else. And how lonely I think it must be to carry that around with you for so many years. But I was really struck by it and I was really struck by him. He was a really interesting chap and I, uh, I loved living next door to him. Um, anyway, when I left his house that day, I left my boxes on the street for another hour and I sat down and I wrote this song and it's called This House. <coughs> I guess it's... This house is like a cemetery All the things he built for me The things he left behind The labours of his time The products of his mind Oh, I keep them all in line All the things he left behind This house is like a prison cell 20 years straight down the well And all I've got is time Time on time on time Sat here with an idle mind And the questions that it finds About the ways that he was mine And it's not shame It's just something I can't name it's no love Oh, this thing I'm dying of It's his roses in the garden It's his pictures on the wall If this house was made for talking It would say It would say nothing at all This house is like a mockery Empty chairs and crockery And it's handsomer than most But nobody gets close Empty glasses none to toast Well he was born to host But all I entertain is ghosts This house is like his legacy all the things he meant to me And I try to find a way To keep the thought at bay That if we had one more day Oh, I don't know what I'd say Yeah, hell alone knows what I'd say Cos it's not shame It's just something I can't name and it's not love Oh, this thing I'm dying of It's his roses in the garden It's his pictures on the wall 
If this house was made for talking, it would say It would say nothing at all It would say nothing at all This house is like a cemetery All the things he built for me The labours of his time The products of his mind Oh, I keep them all in line all the things he left behind Thank you very much. Yeah, I have a lot of songs um, about the experience of moving through this world as a queer person, I suppose. And uh, I guess the, the hope is that one day you won't need to sing them, I think. But uh, I don't think that we're there. And I feel like we're going in the wrong direction, if anything. Um, I wrote this song uh, in 2016, just after uh, the shooting at Pulse Nightclub in Orlando, Florida, in which 50 queer people were killed. Um, unfortunately, we've seen similar hate attacks on the queer community all too recently, and... Um, You know, in the UK, we sort of have this uh, horrible <laughs> situation at the moment with um, transphobia, which is just completely sort of taken over the public sphere in Britain, you know, on a daily basis now, on a daily, literally a daily basis, there are front page headlines about transgender people and about how equality for transgender people threatens everybody else's rights and uh, just going to great lengths to demonise a community that are already so marginalised um, and one of the things that I find very maddening about that is when I see other queer people sort of join in with that marginalisation um, I very 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 strongly believe that either we're all free or none of us are free I think that's always been true I think that always will be true um, and I think throughout history you know we're only as we're only as safe as we are united, really. Um, anyway, this is a song about all those things. It's called Pride. I guess this. <laughs> oh, we're a long way from the Stonewall Inn. I'm standing on this platform, no one's stopping me to sing But there's a multitude of sins That can hide behind your hashtag, tell me again how love wins Well, there's nothing new about this rage It's a war that's always waged Like how no one bats an eye That when 50 of us die in it doesn't even make the Daily Mail front page Well, sometimes it's like an uphill climb Yes, sometimes it's like an uphill climb But I'm right by your side And that's what we call pride And I know you don't want to face the fact That each and every day we're still being attacked And sometimes it's by guns And sometimes it's by words And sometimes it's by the North Carolina bathroom 
same acts and yeah, we're the same as everyone We're all under the same sun But if you're trying to suggest this is just about the West We spent our whole lives licking down the barrel of that gun And sometimes it's like an uphill climb Yes, sometimes it's like an uphill climb But I'm right by your side And that's what we call pride And the love we have each other Will defeat the hate we suffer You're my sisters, brothers and all that's in between And if everything that I made of was fashioned by your God above It was him that gave this kind of love to me And sometimes it's like an uphill climb Sometimes it's like an uphill climb Yes, sometimes it's like an uphill climb But I'm right by your side Oh, I'm right by your side And that's what we call pride And that's why we need pride Um, uh, yeah, we've got time, of course we've got time. Um, in addition to being an incredible instrumentalist, Mr. Ben Moss is also a wonderful songwriter in his own right, and I thought you'd love to hear one of Ben's songs. What do you think? Charlie Kid. Oh. I'll stand with the flamingo. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, afternoon, everyone. <laughs> uh, I'm Ben, nice to meet you all. Um, yeah, this is um, the part of the set where I sing a little song about how hard it is to be a man. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is a brave, <laughs> a brave shout in this room, my friend. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> It's about to get spicy in here. Uh, <laughs> it's important we have a balanced show, you know? Yeah. It's all about balance these days, isn't it? Um, so, this is... <laughs> yeah, that is sort of what's about to happen. But no, this is a song I wrote... Um, you know, we're having lots of important conversations these days around masculinity and, like, what that even means and... All the things that maybe we need to fix about it. And that conversation can move very quickly, which is obviously a good thing. But I think sometimes real change can happen at a bit of a slower pace. I think some of these things play out at a kind of generational level. You know, there's, it takes so long for us to unpick everything and then start building it back up again. So I wanted to write a song a bit about that. Um, and this is my attempt to do so. Um, it is a folk song though, so it's sort of wrapped up in this metaphor about trees and stuff. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's not to my taste, but... Um. <laughs> uh, it's called the Sturdy Oak. It's a, it's a very complicated metaphor, but if you... <laughs> if you really just knuckle down and focus for the next five minutes, I think you'll be able to work out what's going on. Um, <laughs> yeah, it goes a bit like this. I hope it, it's not too painful for all of us.
There's an oak tree in the garden Stands so tall And from those lofty branches A fragile acorn falls So young, so new This life half formed Must suddenly somehow Put down his roots Find space to grow in the shade of his father's boughs And soon that sapling comes in view Arms striving for the sun And while he's lashed by wind and rain Must choose what he'll become For though the sky is high and wide And offers endless choices I'm rooted to the spot I'm in by a hundred doubting voices. Will I grow up to be a soldier or a sailor? Like we're told in all the tales of old. Or will I break the bonds that say I must be strong? And choose my own path up towards the sun And will we ever settle differences With words instead of guns And when the soak is called upon to bear a little weight, oh, when my true love leans upon me, will I bend or break? Though I built these rings around my heart and toughened up my skin, that sapling straining against the wind still lies somewhere within. My brittle bark, I must be sure, should never cause her harm As now our branches interweave and bind us arm in arm Will she have room to blossom now as we grow old as one will my embrace Help her to thrive, or will my leaves block out her sun? My tears, they fall like leaves caught in the autumn breeze When I see what this world asks of me Oh, will I ever be enough? I hope that I could be to give her everything she's waiting on To be strong enough to catch her tears But not afraid to shed my own And when at last my time has come to pass on all I know as my own son puts down his roots Will he have room to grow? These deep-set roots, this thickened skin My strength no longer needed The message came too late for me Will he have time to heal? The ground that we are rooted in these days is ever shifting Will we learn how to change our place Or just be dead wood drifting This world is full of sturdy oaks Who grew so tall and strong And they crowd out the horizon as he struggles to belong I wish that I could give him all the answers But I no longer know the questions And the best that I can give 
his time and space to live and to pick him up when he has fallen low and to hope that how to be a man is something he might know Thank you very much. Mr. Ben Moss. So Port Ferry Beach. <laughs> Is that real? I only asked because we were driving and, and it just looked like the, the farms and the fields went out as far as the eye could see, but supposedly there's a beach just over there somewhere. Is that true? We might try and go for a... Sorry? Lots of sea glass. Lots of sea glass. <laughs> Funny you should mention that. <laughs> I didn't plant them here. So, yeah, sea glass is one of my favourite uh, things in the world. Um, I moved to the, to the coast. I'm from the Midlands um, in England. I'm, from the, I'm actually from the, the middle of the Midlands of England. As far from the sea as you can get on all sides. Which is a shame for me because I, I adore being by the sea. I find the sea a very restorative force. Um. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was having a stroke there. <laughs> I'm too jet lagged for this. <laughs> I was awake at four o'clock. Um, yeah, I find this year very restorative, uh, has a very restorative impact on me. And uh, during, uh, during the pandemic, after the, after the kind of uh, local lockdowns eased, once we were allowed to travel around the country, my, my girlfriend and I went to the coast and spent a, a week by the sea up in Yorkshire in the north of England and and I didn't take my phone and I didn't get on the internet for the entire week that I was there and I found the impact that not doing those things had on me was completely transformative, right? I don't know about you guys, but I'm not really of the opinion that 24-hour news is something that should have been invented, <laughs> right? I don't think we were designed to be exposed to that much news all the time. Um, and I spent a week just uh, walking on the beach and collecting sea glass. Um, and uh, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure you all know what I mean by sea glass. Um, but I, I'm going to explain it anyway. Because we, so we, we were over in January actually this year. Um, we would, we did Woodford Folk Festival and oh cool, oh nice one. Uh, we had a great time, and uh, and I sang this song. This song is about sea glass, and uh, and I said this is a song about sea glass, and then I sang it, and uh, and then somebody came up to me afterwards and said, "No one had a fucking clue what you were talking about there." So um, <laughs> I'm gonna explain it. Uh, so sea glass, uh, sometimes you know bits of glass go into the ocean, and then over time the waves sort of wear them down, and uh, they turn kind of smooth around the edges, and they turn cloudy, and then they wash up on the shore, looking like gemstones, right? They look really, really, really beautiful, and people collect them and make jewelry out of them, and I think it's just fantastic. And I collect sea glass from wherever I go in the world, and I've just got jars and jars of it in my house now, and um, and I think it's beautiful as an object but I also think that's a very beautiful concept I think the idea that you know the the journey that we're on in life physically turns us into what we end up becoming I think that's a beautiful idea um Ben's not the only one who can do very heavy-handed metaphors apparently um so uh <laughs> listen you said it first mate I don't know uh so that is my explanation about what sea glass is and uh, after I did the song in Woodford without explaining and apparently confused half the audience. Um, after that, we did a show in Sydney and I, I explained I explained what I was talking about like I did just then and there was a real commotion in the audience and I was like, what's going on back there? Somebody's kicking off and this woman just went, we have sea glass here too! So I was like, 
all the fucking things I talk about on stage and I I didn't think this would be the thing that divided the room, you know? So with uh, with full acknowledgement of your, I'm sure, far superior sea glass, Australia. This is called Hall Away, I guess it's. The heart of me is ocean bound But I come from a landlocked town No coasts or cabins to be found Among the plains and fens But when the road takes me in reach Of ocean waters that beseech me Every time to scour the beach In search of hidden gems Along the shore where can be seen In frosty white, in blue and green Some days even aquamarine Or from the water throne Discarded shards of glass wool were swept up in this waterfall And now whose bodies so recall the stories they have known All the way, all the way I'm bound to follow oceans, I know no other way All the way, all the way And make me who I am today and make me who I am today Well who amongst us can't relate To such an ordinary fate As living in a constant state of battling the tide We started out a fragile shell That broke apart each time it fell That you could see straight through as well and know what lay inside Then traded days in pubs and bars The crashing waves beneath the stars And storms that gave us battle scars When best adventure beckoned We turned with currents, met with caves And wandered lost among the waves And managed to avoid our graves But sometimes just by seconds All the way, all the way I'm bound to follow oceans, I know no other way All the way, all the way And make me who I am today And make me who I am today Give it up for Mr. Ben Moss on the fiddle, eh? Well, blessed are those who understand We all return back to the sand we were born from But bear the brand of our suffering and our pleasure and Now I find the time and tide I've worn my edges, smoothed my sides For tourists who come wandering by To mistake me for treasure All the way, all the way I'm no kind of opponent for the current or the sway All the way, all the way That made me who I am today All the way, all the way I'm bound to follow oceans, Lord, I know no other way All the way, all the way And make me who I am today And make me who I am today And make me who I am today And make me who I am today
Thank you very much. I think we've got time for a couple more. Um, so I think we've, it's time to get around to Jude's request, I think. Um, so this is a song called Black Tie. Um, oh gosh, thank you. Um, yeah, I normally, I normally wear a shirt and tie on stage, but um, it felt a bit early. <laughs> Um, we're, we're on later uh, again, by the way, we're on it. Is it, is it four o'clock we're on? Oh, oh you, know, <laughs> you know what you're doing. That's cool. Um, so yeah, we'll, we're, if, you, if any of you guys want to come, I mean, there's lots of good things to see. Don't feel obligated, but we're going to do different songs if you did want it. Anyway, we'll probably do this one twice. <laughs> anyway, I don't, you don't need to hear all my internal thoughts, do you, I suppose? Um, <laughs> So I wrote, I wrote this song, um, gosh, uh, five years ago now. Um, uh, around about the time I was coming up to my 30th birthday. And uh, I was thinking about my... The, the old heat is playing a bit of havoc, I think, isn't it? With the tuning in here. Um, but a bad workman blames his tools, I suppose. Um, yeah, I was thinking about my... I was thinking about my adolescence when I wrote this song. I was, uh, I was quite an unhappy teenager, um, like I think a lot of us were. And uh, I mean, if there are any teenagers in the room, no, no offence or anything. Like, uh, but just so you know, you know when people are like, "It's the best days of your life," it fucking isn't, guys. Don't, <laughs> don't fall for that shit. It's just gonna get so much better. <laughs> um, that's my experience, anyway. But when I was a teenager, most of, most of what I was struggling with was, uh, was I felt a deep sense of shame um, around myself, around the way that I was, the way that I still am to this day, right? And what I'm talking about is the fact that I am a butch lesbian, right? And I've always been a butch lesbian right from when I was, when I was, when I was really young, right? This has always been the way that I've been. It just comes very naturally to me. I can't be any other way. And uh, when I was growing up, you know, I just wasn't really seeing any women that looked like me anywhere, you know, on stage or, or screen in the public eye anywhere, you know, and, and that really sort of gave me this message, you know, kind of implicitly from all over society that this is, is not an adequate way to be a woman or a girl. And, uh, and that really messed me up because I always knew that this was the only kind of woman or girl I was ever going to be capable of being, you know, this is all I've, all I've got. Um, and, uh, and it wasn't until I was nearly 30 years old that I even realised that I had the option of not being ashamed of myself all the time. And it was only when I realised that that I sort of realised that I'd been ashamed my entire life. And, uh, and when I realised that I didn't need to carry that shame around with me, I, I, I wrote this song as a letter to my 15-year-old self just saying, things are going to get better. You know, and I was thinking if I could go back in time and talk to my 15-year-old self, what would I want to say to her? And I realised the only thing that I, I really could have done with hearing at that age is, there's nothing wrong with you. That's all I needed to be told, you know. There's nothing weird about you. Um, thanks. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I've been singing this song for five years um, all over the world, and... What I've learned in that time is that whoever you are, whatever your story is, whether you're, whether you're queer or whether you're a lesbian or whether you're butch or whether you're trans or whether you're non-binary or whether you're cis or whatever you are, what I've learned is that everybody has got a lonely teenager inside them somewhere who needs to hear that they are absolutely fine as they are. So if that's ever been you, this song is for you. It's called Black Tie. It's got a bit uh, I'd love you to join in with, um, uh, if that's okay. It's time, it's time for the swearing. Um, it's not even just passive swearing, it's sing-along swearing, I'm afraid. <laughs> Um, the best sort. <laughs> I knew there's a reason I like Port Fairy. Um, so, uh, so the line is, uh, it's a, it's, it's, it's like a rhyming couplet. I'm going to sing the first bit, and you guys are hopefully going to reply the second bit. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll take the sweary section. Um, so the, the line is, the images that fucked you were a patriarchal structure, right? So I'm going to sing the images that fucked you, and you're going to reply, we're a patriarchal structure, right? A bit like this. And the images that fucked you were, were a patriarchal, patriarchal structure. Incredible, wow. And, uh, and if you sing that loudly enough, then what is going to happen is the patriarchy that's walking by outside <laughs> is going to hear you, and uh, it's going to know that it's days 
are numbered. You know? So sing along. You'll know when it's coming up because I'll, I'll, I'll look at you with desperation to sing along. Um, uh, it goes like this. Well, it's a jungle out there. The year 2018, I didn't think We'd still be sorting babies into blue and pink And all our progress, I wonder what it means When the only girls' clothes that work for me Turn out to be boyfriend jeans Well, that's fine, cause I decline A narrow set of rules that just don't work And these red lines, well, they're not mine if you need me, you can find me ironing my shirt Cause I'm in black tie tonight Get a postcard to my year 11 self In her year 11 hell Saying everything's gonna be alright No, you won't grow out of it You will find the clothes that fit And the images that fucked you we're a patriarchal structure And you never will surrender To a narrow view of gender And I swear there'll come a day When you won't worry what they say On the labels and on the tours You will figure out what's yours And it's a bloody nightmare Trying to fight the spread of bigotry and fear That's uniting Piers Morgan in Jermaine Greer And all our progress, yeah I wonder who it's for When I dared to utter that trans lives matter And all I got was a turf war Well that's fine, cause I decline Your narrow set of rules, they just don't work And these red lines, they're not mine if you need me, you can find me ironing my shirt Cause I'm in black tie tonight Get a postcard to my year 11 self In her year 11 hell Saying everything's gonna be alright No, you won't grow out of it You will find the clothes that fit And the images that fucked you we're a patriarchal structure And you never will surrender To a narrow view of gender And I swear there'll come a day When you won't worry what they say On the labels and on the tours You will figure out what's yours You will figure out what's yours And that it's got Nothing to do with fitting neatly in a box that was constructed to make it seem Like people come in just two teams And anything that's in between ain't good enough And you will love And you'll be loved And you're in black tie tonight Get a postcard to my year 11 self In her year 11 hell Darling, everything's gonna be alright No, you won't grow out of it You will find the clothes that fit And the images that fucked you Were a patriarchal structure And you never will surrender To that narrow view of gender And there's folks you've yet to meet But you're exactly up their street They've been waiting just as long To hear someone sing this song Better days are on their way When it won't matter what they say On the labels and on the tools You will figure out what's yours And girl, you're gonna be so happy Girl, you're gonna be just fine Girl, you're gonna be so happy down the line, down the line
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You guys have been so lovely. Thank you so, so much for joining us this afternoon. We're going to do one more, um, but we're running over a little bit, so if you want to go, then do go, by all means. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, so we've got a set uh, later on today, uh, like I mentioned, and then I'll be actually doing a CD signing tomorrow at 5 o'clock uh, over at the merch uh, tent. Um, if you're interested in where several people around are wearing these incredible T-shirts that say you never will surrender to a narrow view of gender, and I'm sure all the way through that song you were thinking, fuck, that would make a good T-shirt, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, good news for you, Port Ferry. Because there's a whole bunch of them in the merch tent, and uh, how can I put this tactfully? I don't want to take them back to the UK. Um, so... Uh, Anything you can do to lighten the load on the return flight would be much appreciated. Um, you've been absolutely wicked. Thank you so much. We're going to finish uh, with a, a driving song. This is called Northbound. Um, and uh, it's got another sing-along chorus. Have you got one more in you? Cool. So this is uh, what's going to happen in the choruses. I'm going to do a line and you're going to echo that line after me. The first one goes by night and day, like this. By night and day. By night and day. Amazing. The next one goes by road or rail, like this. By road or rail. By road or rail. Amazing. Now listen, the only thing you've got to remember is those two lines are not next to each other, okay? I know it's confusing because we did them next to each other then, but in the song, they're not next to each other, okay? Some of you are looking at me like, what are you talking about? But I, pr I promise there will be a moment that you feel overcome with an urge to sing along, and I'm going to need you to fight it. But I will, I'll give you some non-verbal clues with my face. But also you should sing wherever you want to sing because we are a leaderless movement. You've been absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much to Blarney Books for hosting us today. To Joe and to Dean on the sound. One more time for Mr. Ben Moss. We'll see you later. Cheers. Have a great festival, guys. M1 again. Gone to AM This lonesome road goes on Forever Espresso shop With a petrol stop I will make my way Whatever The road's so dark The night's so deep But I've got promises to keep And I've got miles upon miles upon miles to go Before I sleep Here we go by night, and day. by night and day, by miles away, I'll get there any godforsaken way. By road or rail, by, road or rail. by sea to sail, if there's a way, I won't fail. fail. I'd take my time, steady seven, see straight down the line. Only one thing on my mind. Hell or high water, come down Oh, I'm northbound One more late night on the northern line And up to King's Cross I will follow Guitar on back, and I'm right on track. Always racing with tomorrow, and coast to coast, I ride alone. Just one more ghost on the last train home, and I've got miles upon miles upon miles to go, all on my own. Here we go. By night and day, by night and day, by miles away. I'll get there any god the second way By road or rail By road or rail By sea to sail If there's a way or I won't fail I'll take my time Steady seven See straight down the line Only one thing on my mind Hell or high water Come down I'm northbound That I 
go to Longside to Ohio, Vancouver to Chicago, halfway to Colorado, and into Minnesota, and down through North Dakota, into Buffalo, New York. I tell you every time we talk, that if I could get to you, I'd walk. Some of you started the song clapping. And I'd love it if you wanted to pick it back up. Oh. Stay with us till the end. Are you still with me on that chorus, guys? By night and day. By night and day. By motorway. I'll get there any godforsaken way. By road or rail. By road or rail. By sea to sail. If there's a way home, I won't fail. Let's take my time. Steady 70 straight down the line. Only one thing on my mind. Hell or high water, come down. I'm northbound. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. One more time for Ben Moss. My name is Grace Beastry. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great festival. See you later. Cheers.